All right, what's up guys, it's Heat again. Um, so I promised that I would show you the two builds that I used in the Nemesis League, which were pretty cool, uh, which one of them is pretty cool, being this one. Uh, now I did rip in this uh, with this build. Uh, I got to level 85 and 34%, and I ripped to, uh, I think it was the Labyrinth boss. It's like a Chimera type creature that shoots like needles out of its tail and uh, I put a video up of it and it's pretty brutal. I died uh, to two hits, like he did two hits, which uh, does, you get hit like three times in each hit, something like that. He did two hits rapidly, very fast, and it just tanked my health immediately. Um, so this character died. But let's check out this build. So what this build is, is a crit trapper build with fire trap. Um, and it's pretty rocking. I'll show you how powerful it is. Um, there are no... This build isn't very expensive. Uh, you might see the taming here, which is an expensive ring, but you don't actually need the taming. Uh, I was just able to buy this, and I wanted it for the build. I saved up a lot for it, uh, and I got, actually got a really good price. I don't know why the guy sold it, sold it for what he did. I think I got it for 2.5 Exalt. And I've seen him go for like 9 Exalt, 11 Exalt, something like that. Um, so I just got lucky with that purchase. But I was gonna, I was willing to spend uh, 5 to 7 Exalt on this um, to buy it. Uh, so yeah, you don't need any items actually. Uh, but I'll tell you what you, you would want to look for on, on, on your gear. So the other unique I have are the Deerstalker deer skin boots. Uh, which has a built-in fifth link, which is um, a, uh, a trap, a trap gem, su uh, a supported trap gem for level 11 trap. Uh, now you don't need this, but um, the reason I, I, I used it was because I wanted to use add a, a quality add a lightning damage, which uh, which is really good because it increases shock duration and shock chance. Uh, as you can see right there, it's 6% chance to shock and increased shock duration is 13% and it's not max quality yet. So um, that is a really good gem for this build and you'll see why in a little bit. So the way this build works is you throw out three shock novas uh, to triple shock enemies, hopefully. Um, and then when they're triple shock, you just throw out a fire trap, and that's that's it, game over. Like that's and, and hopefully the fire trap. And if the fire trap crits, it's like I can one shot uh, every boss up, um, every unique boss up to like level 72 maps, something like that. I'll, I'll one shot them on a crit. Uh, so. Let's check out my links. So for Shock Nova, what I have is add a lightning damage, multiple traps, Shock Nova, and elemental proliferation. Now uh, I have a quality Shock Nova because you really should get that and it's really good. What it does is it adds uh, a chance to shock and it increases shock duration and it adds a lot. Okay, so I think you get, uh, it's not maxed, but one more quality would max it and that would give it 30% chance to shock and maybe 60% increased duration uh, and if you if you read on the wiki there's a, a formula with how shock duration works and how long it lasts and how like how deep the trip like the shock penetrates because you can have one two or three shocks uh, and so the greater the duration the better it is um, so like it's hard for me to explain because it's kind of technical and there's a lot of numbers but if you check it out on the wiki uh, you can kind of decipher it if you read it there but that's one link and that you lead with this attack and and then you follow with a uh, fire trap and the links that I have to fire trap or fire trap chance to ignite elemental prolif increase burn damage uh, a fifth link would be fire fire pen uh, I never got the fifth link on this guy. I was about to buy right before I died. Luckily, I didn't. Uh, and the other uh, link I have is uh, Cold Snap. And Cold Snap follows Fire Trap if Fire Trap does not kill. Um, 
And what I have to cold snap is cold snap, elemental prolif, trap, and iron will. Iron will just increase the damage because you need to do a lot of damage. Uh, there's a damage threshold before they actually freeze, so I wanted to up the damage on on a cold snap. And then I have uh, elemental weakness as a curse, and I was using that because uh, in groups. But otherwise, and because I have, I do three elements of damage. But otherwise, you uh, flame ability is good if you're just playing by yourself. Uh, so let's take a take a look at. So this is a crit. This is a crit build, uh, and it's also a blood magic build. So if we take a look at um, my build, and I will post this build uh, with in the description of the video. But I, uh, I started with Templar, and now I picked up. Um, I actually started as Spectro. That's Spectro Templar, and that's how I leveled. But I did pick up. Uh, a lot of fire damage uh, passives as, as you can see and also life regen so my life regen right now is 189 which is pretty good um, and then I dipped into the marauder tree for life and for defense and for life regen because it is blood magic and I also picked up things like crit strike chance uh, crit strike multiplier Crit Strike Chance on Multiplier here, and, uh, and I also did uh, Crit Strike Multiplier, this cluster here. Uh, and I came in through here because this is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, and if I came through here, it would be 4 just for this, so I, I figure an additional 1 for uh, 50 multiplier is worth it. So I went through this way to pick it up. And I also have Elemental Equilibrium. And that is awesome because uh, you penetrate elemental resistances because you lead with shock nova and then the next element will be fire damage so uh, there's a lot of synergy there and it increases your, DP your dps dramatically and it's pretty awesome so in addition to elemental weakness which is 47 percent you get an additional negative 50 so it's like 97 percent and i don't have elemental weakness quality uh, so you can get more So this is what the uh, build looks like. I don't have actually a lot of uh, Crit passives on the skill tree like I didn't actually go into if I were to make this build again I would probably go into here and do it with another class pick up a lot of uh, crit chance crit multiplier Etc, and then there's trap damage nodes all around here There's also this which is pretty awesome but I did. I wanted to do blood magic, and I didn't want to worry about mana cost because this can get expensive. This is 162, and this is 79. And if you're spamming them, it goes. Uh, your mana goes pretty fast. So this is what the build looks like. Um, this. So some of the mo more important items and what I focused on were Platinum Chris's because they have a lot of crit damage, uh, crit chance, I'm sorry. So for example, this is probably my most uh, expensive item outside of the Taming uh, and probably the best item outside of the Taming. It's, it's pretty sick. Uh, it has almost 70% increased spell damage for the um, for Shock Nova and f Fire Trap and Cold Snap, so that's awesome. And it has 170 crit chance, and this one has 160 crit chance. So you have 230 crit chance right just off the bat, just off your weapons. And this also has 56% spell damage. On my amulet, I had crit chance as well. You can get. Uh, I didn't have a chance to update, uh, upgrade this item. You can get crit chance and crit multiplier, which I would have. Uh, upgraded and this is just for crit chance and the rest of the stats are defensive so I also have ice spear and the only thing I have is power charge on crit and GMP on ice spear this is to generate uh, power charges uh, for extra crit chance so if we take a look at fire trap right now the crit chance on fire trap is 30% 
which might not seem like a lot, but it's going to go higher. Uh, let me just take it to docs so I can show you guys how this works. I don't have maps on softcore because I don't really play softcore. I think I have some, but like not many. Uh, so you throw out the triple, they get shocked, you throw out a fire, uh, a fire trap, and things die. So, with We have 37, uh, 37.5%. So let me show you how this works. We'll get a big pack here. Uh, and it's just like that, things disappear. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, this this build does insane damage. I mean, it's it's pretty absurd. I mean, it's pretty insane. Uh, like I said, I can like one-shot bosses, all bosses up to levels like uh, map level 72 um, on crit, and sometimes even non-crit. And it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let me show you. Let me go to library. It's a little bit higher level than uh, than docs. And the reason the fire trap works so well is because it does uh, burn damage. So how it works is, it has ground burn damage, which is which is a lot, and then it also when you when you ignite, it's separate from the ground burn damage, so it kind of stacks, and that it and that ignite, um, and and the damage over time dot on the floor just does massive damage, uh, and the and you want to scale the damage of the fire trap because the higher the damage the higher the the burn ignite is so that's why it does such good damage because when you when i crit and the crit multiplier makes it go crazy the damage is insane I mean it's crazy and what's cool is you can see the rings, the prolif rings, and if the and if you get a crit and from what I've noticed when an enemy runs into the ring they actually get crit. They run into a crit. Which is pretty cool and I actually didn't know that that's how that mechanic worked. But yeah, that's the that's the build. Uh, it's pretty awesome. 
I, I personally think it's a really high level build. Uh, I haven't even been using my defensive options, which is Enduring Cry and my Molten Shell. Molten Shell has a chance to ignite, and if it does, um, nothing survives. It's insane. Um, so I happen to think that this is a really top tier build um, just because of the damage output, just because it's safe. You don't have to worry about reflect. Traps don't reflect damage. Um, you can just run around kite enemies the way you want. You can even throw it, throw in a uh, decoy totem and then throw traps on top of it. Um, so, and it has a lot of utility. You can do freeze, you can do burn, you can do shock. So this is uh, probably one of my best, if not the best build that I, I have made next to my explosive arrow build. So if you have any questions about the build, just shoot me a comment, shoot me a message, and I will uh, answer those questions. Alright, thanks guys.